Welcome back once again on this Thursday afternoon. I almost said Friday kind of wishing there, but it is Thursday. We're close, right? Take a look at our scout there. We have mostly cloudy conditions. We also have showers. Now this is interesting. We're taking you back six hours and then moving through the afternoon. Things were quiet. We had a lot of blue sky this morning. Then bam, hit a certain temperature. Got the sun angle right, warmed up enough, created a lot of instability, and we have those showers. So far, haven't really seen any lightning strikes at this point. We could as we hit over the next couple of hours, but once we lose the sun, we will actually start to see uh, those showers diminish pretty quickly across the region. Now, yesterday, we did have a few storms and quite a bit of shower activity pop up, and the result, we got a lot of great rainbow photos, including this uh, bright double rainbow we see in the sky. Love that shot. As far as our current conditions go right now, 57 degrees in Fargo, north northwest wind at about 15 miles per hour. More head coming in at 55. Grand Forks also coming in at 55 with that mostly cloudy to overcast sky. And again, we'll see those clouds this evening. Uh, not only the showers, but also the clouds diminishing very quickly once we get to uh, the late evening and overnight hours. Current numbers right now, temperatures in the low to mid 50s. Most areas saw a high temperature right around 3, 4 o'clock this afternoon before those clouds really started to pick up. As we look at our first alert weather headlines, a beautiful end to the work week. Think you're going to love your Friday. Also think you're going to love what we see for this weekend. Now rain, even storms are back for next week, and it looks like we'll have an extended period of opportunities for showers. Tomorrow morning's lows, a little chilly, a little more so than the last couple of mornings. It'll be clear, but some areas are actually going to be below that freezing mark. Tomorrow afternoon highs, mid 50s, even low 60s. Looks like Fargo's going to have about 62, Grand Forks 57, Jamestown and Sisseton both coming in at 59 for tomorrow. And again, we're going to get a lot of sunshine tomorrow. Jumping ahead to our Friday afternoon, again, you can see that clear sky. Now, Saturday, there is one window of time where we could see a few showers. That's early in the day, especially Grand Forks areas north, but it kicks out pretty quickly by Saturday afternoon. Not only are we going to get the sunshine, it is going to be very warm out there. We've got the numbers for you in a second. Sunday looking great as well. So here's what we've got. 78 degrees on Saturday, easily the warmest day we've seen so far this year. 74 on Sunday and your Monday is going to be a warm day too, but rain chances increase Monday afternoon all the way through Wednesday. It looks like the peak activity will be Monday night into about mid to late day on Tuesday. This is our extended forecast heading into Tuesday 7 AM. You see the rain really encompassing the region as we head to the afternoon and evening hours and still cycling through the area as we head to Wednesday afternoon rainfall comparison. We don't have a lot of time to spend on this, but I can tell you from Monday to Wednesday, both weather models showing a high likelihood of a good amount of rain, one, two, maybe even more inches. In the meantime, you see Monday's high still very warm, 77. Then we drop Tuesday 60, Wednesday 54, all the way down to 48 and 49 Thursday and Friday. Those numbers are below the norm, not that far below the norm, but it's going to feel a lot different as you might imagine, than 77 and 78. Well, I already saw people today wearing open-toed shoes, shorts. I've been out running in shorts and t-shirt and it feels great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wore I wore shorts to the gym too. I was one of those people. Nice. No open toed did. shoes though. <laughs> Never. Me neither. <laughs> Thanks, Russ. Yeah. Up next, we'll tell you what age the government thinks is right for teens to start using social media.